Sound check by Catfish and the Bottle Men. The song is in drop D, so we have D, A, D, G, B, and E. So the song starts like this. So what we're doing, we're muting with our palm on the bridge and we're playing the bottom two strings only. And then we're going to play open, to, open twice. Then we're going to play open bottom string and then nine, open, seven, open, five. And then we're going to play three where they're both open. So open, open, open is nine, open, open in seven, open, and open in five, then three open bottom strings. So. And then it builds up. And then we're just gonna play power chords on seven of the A string. No, nine, seven, five. And then we're back into. Then we've got. So again, gently muting on the bridge. And we're going to play open D string to seven of the G. Five of the B. Back to the G string. And then on the B string, we're playing five, seven, five, but we're going to let those strings ring out. So what I'm doing with my right hand here. So one more time, open D to seven of the G, to five of the B, back to seven of the G, and then five, seven, five of the B. So halfway through this, we have a B minor chord, and over the top of that is a little fuzz riff, which I'll show you now. So this little fuzz riff goes like this. So I'm playing nine of the bottom string, jump to the D string and we're doing a hammer and pull off, seven, nine, back to seven on the D, nine of the A, seven and nine on the D, and then nine of the G. So, and one more time. You can play it down here. So that's two on the A, two, four, two of the G, four of the D, two to four of the G, and then five of the B. Then we're back into this riff. Which is the same as we did a minute ago. Then we got. And what we're going to do here is play second fret of the A, then open E and open B, fourth fret of the A, open E to open B, fifth fret of the A, open E, open B, seventh fret of the A, open E, open B. And then we have the chorus, so we're going to play open bottom string and then into a D chord, but we're going to play all six strings. Then we're going to play a G major to an F sharp minor. So this G major, we're ignoring this bottom string and we're playing five on the A, five on the D, four of the G and three of the B. And then for the F sharp minor, we're playing four, four, 
two, two. So. Play that three times. The last time, play the open D. And then we're going to play B minor, A. And then we're back into. That bit, which is the same as the first verse. Then we're going to play the same sections that we played for the first verse. And then the power chords. Then we're going into. That section that we did a minute ago. Then we've got that same fuzz riff that we played a minute ago. Then we've got this same section that we played. Then we've got a double length chorus. So play the same chorus with that at the end. So B flat to A at the end, and then just double the length. At the end of the second chorus, we're just going to play out on that on that um, D chord and play all of the strings. Then we've got a little section where there's not really any guitar, but you can put some guitar in. So all I'm playing here is fret nine of the bottom string, nine of the D, and seven of the G. And I'm just playing with a pick and my fingers. Then when the vocals come in, it changes down. And I'm playing, so nine, nine and seven. Then I'm coming down to seven of the E, seven of the D, six of the G, and then five, five, and four. So that's five of the E, five of the D, and four of the G. I know that bit's not really played on guitar, but if you want to play along to the whole song, you can add that in there. So then it starts to build, and there is some guitar, which is just... So what we're going to play is a D5 power chord, so that's 5 on the A, 7 on the D, 7 on the G, but we're going to start on the D. So D, G, D. So again, start on the D string, so D, G, D string. Sorry, D, G, A. I said it completely wrong a minute ago. So D, G, A, D, G, A. And that's how it builds. So the other guitar starts to build on the B string here. Then when that little um, lead bit comes in, The other guitar is playing B minor, A, G. So that lead part then, we're going to pick here on the B string, 12th fret. We're going to play that four times. And then we're going to bend from 14 to 15 back to 12 so and that's going to be played three times then we're going to play that 12th fret twice more then we're going to come 14 so 14 on the E 15 on the B 12 of the B then 12 of the E, 14 of the B, 
and then 14 of the G. So slowly. <laughs> that twice then it all gets a bit difficult to work out so it's something along those lines so playing 14 on the G and the B3 and then we're going to put 15 down on the B and then we're going to come down to th uh, 11 and 12, 11 of the G and 12 of the B. So. so that's that first part of the solo. So as I said, it's a bit difficult to work this next bit out, but it sounds like after going here... There's something like that going on. So we've got 11 on the G, 10 on the B, and we're going to hammer down to 12 on the B. So keep that one there on the 11th. Then we've got the same. So then we've got that little lick in there, which is 9 to 11 on the G, 10 to 12 on the B and then play that note one more time. So after that first little lead break, we're back into the D to G sequence. Play through that a couple of times, then it's back into D, G, F sharp minor. Which is the same as the chorus that we played earlier. So then the last part of the solo, again it's difficult to hear exactly what they're playing, but we're playing up here somewhere. So we've got a D chord, which is D here on the tw uh, 10, 10 and 11. So that's 10 on the E, 10 on the B, 11 on the G. And we're just kind of playing around on those notes there. Then we come up to up to uh, 17 on the E, down to 15 on the E. Then we're going to bend a unison bend. So we've got 12 of the E, 15 of the B. Then we're going to do the same thing, just move that up two frets. So we've got 14, 17. And then we're going to bend this 17th fret of the B string. And we're going to play the 17th fret directly underneath it on the E string. Okay, so we've got... Then we're going to come all the way up to the 22nd fret of the E and B string. And, and that is the end of the solo. So again, I know it's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty hard to figure it out. And it's somewhere around that sort of area. So hopefully that's useful. Then we just into the chorus chords. And that is the end of the song.